Hello everyone, my name's Gamer Bay. Today I'm going to be creating a brand new character in Baldur's Gate 3. I'm creating a character to actually play my very first campaign, which will be live streamed on my Twitch. If you guys are curious to go see that, um, I will have all my information down below. But let's get started. I actually played a little bit of this game prior with my cousin. Um, he is a D&D &D expert. He plays the game religiously, both Baldur's Gate 3 and the actual tabletop version of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. But I'm really new to it and I really like it. I've always enjoyed fantasy. I've always enjoyed the lore. I actually looked into a little bit of the Baldur's Gate lore specifically back when the game first came out. And my first playthrough experience, we didn't even finish through Act 1, but I was playing I was playing a sorcerer. I was a tiefling sorcerer and I loved it, but in game I picked up a lute or like one of the instruments and I fell in love with it and my cousin was like, you probably should have played Bard. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a Bard. And you guys can rate how well I created my character. This is coming from somebody who is not uh, well versed in D&D. I don't really know much about it. So I'm just going to kind of create somebody that I align with and think that might go well with a Bard. So let's jump in. But yeah, I think the lore and the game is incredible. And I love the NPC characters that get to join us on the adventure. Okay, shh, I'm gonna shut up, okay. Squishy. I think she looks so cool. those nails bro oh they have four fingers too i didn't notice that until now gooey Blech. Why the eyeball? Uh, that is disgusting. Oh, me next? Great. <laughs> disgusting. Uh. Blech. All right. Okay. Who, Who am I? Let's find out. We are going to come back. This is not your first adventure. Tutorials have already been set. Yeah, we will reset the tutorials because it's been quite a long time since I've played. Um, okay. We are not going to choose one of these presets. We're going to choose our own. So some of the research that I did on making a drill or on making a bard from square one is that dro is not too bad of an idea because it comes with the dro weapon training, uh, the crossbow, proficiency with the crossbow. And that is kind of typical of a bard in my understanding of bards that I've seen and experienced in other games before, like Final Fantasy for experience or just other various games. Uh, a bow goes well with the bard. So we are going to choose bow. Although on my first playthrough, the little bit of playthrough that I did, I did make a tiefling and I just love the tiefling. I know a little bit of the backstory again from my cousin, but, and I think it's just cool. I think like I made a really pretty tiefling that I was really happy with, but this is a new story, a new adventure. So I am going to choose a new race and we're going to choose Dro. Um, I don't really know the differences between this two. Let's see, raised by the, excuse me for not pronouncing these, the Lolf cult in the city of Menobaraznan. 
Drow embody the virtues of their corrupt and merciless god. Loth marks her followers with bright red eyes. Ooh. And then, then we have the Seldarin. Seldarin Drow can be found seeking allies from all over Faerun. Faerun, excuse me, aiming to settle their conflict with Loth and each other. I, I kind of like this. Yeah. Light armor, medium armor, shields, skills are athletics, religion, insight, perception. I thought making a drow, or sorry, making a, hold on. I thought that when making a bard, you do want to have high charisma. I'm just going to play around a little bit. I don't think, okay, so all the races so far have the same skill attributes. All right, so I don't think my decisions so far are too bad. Barbarian. Okay, this is where we change it. So we are switching over to Bard. And that will put all of our charisma at the highest. Yes, this is exactly what I want. Um, let's see what our cantrips are. Dancing Lights, I'm familiar. Vicious Mockery, I'm not familiar. Blade Ward. Healing, Dissonant Whispers. Okay, yeah, this is all going to be new to me. And like I said, again, I'm not in any way, shape, or form familiar, but I, that's what I think is the beautiful thing about Baldur's Gate 3 is that it's introducing people to Dungeons & Dragons who may have heard of the game but aren't familiar or maybe have heard of it and wanted to get more into it. And of course, the tabletop version is like, you, you don't play that by yourself. You play it with a group of friends. And when you're like a noob like me, finding a group of people to experience this with is not easy. So this game ties it in so well to like, you can experience Dungeons and Dragons without having an experienced group of friends. And you can of course, just make this your own experience, which is what I really love. Okay. I'm not gonna worry too much about these spells. Oops, oh, hold on, yes I am. Vicious Mockery, I almost wanna just start with what it's giving me because like I said, I don't know too well. My cantrips, my spells. I do know the difference between the cantrips and the spells, but the cantrips, I think at the moment I'm gonna leave. And I know that you can always swap these in and out. Okay, let's see, heals. And I also am aware too that the bard is heavily spells and it's not so much melee or anything like that. So I know that the spells are important. Dissonant whispers, frighten a creature. I have disadvantage on ability checks. Frightening. Creature must have an intelligence of five or more. Leave a creature prone with laughter. That's funny. Heroism. Make yourself or a target immune to frightening. Make yourself or a target immune to frightened. Hmm. What else do we have? Animal friendship. Not bad, actually. Bane. Up to three creatures receive a penalty. Charm a person, cure wounds. I'm not going to really focus too much on heals, only because I know that um, we will have a cleric join us, and she is a really good healer. All targets within the light turn visible. Featherfall, long strider sleep, speak with animals. Thunder wave. This is a damaging one. I actually like the idea of having a damage one. It's almost like I have some debuff spells, but I want to be able to cause damage myself. So immune to find. I'm going to take that off at the moment. We're actually going to put thunder wave on because I do want to cause some damage. Starting instrument. Oh God, what do we choose? Okay, we have, I'll go back. We have the violin. Oh, this makes me so happy to be able to listen to it. What about this? Oh, I love music. It's beautiful. I think it's the lute that I had found in my first playthrough. Because that sounds familiar. Oh. I, I can actually play flutes IRL, so I might have to choose that. The river. Okay, that one's pretty cool, but I'm not a percussionist. 
It is between the lyre. Down, down by the river. I can't sing. My voice is still... Uh, I can sing, but it's not where it normally is. I'm still... I was sick during the holidays, and I'm still... Like, my voice is still not 100%. Ah. Oh. Oh, it's such a hard choice. Okay, so now I'm between lyre and flute. If you guys have played as a bard, let me know which starting instrument you chose. I don't actually know if we can have multiple instruments. I know that you can find them in the world, and I don't know if you can carry multiple at a time or interchange them. I know you do have a carrying capacity, so I can imagine. We're going to choose the flute because that is just near and dear to my heart, although I really like the sound of this. Oh, yeah, no, we're going to choose the flute. Background Acolyte. Okay, so this goes into just more of like the lore of my character, and which is huge in Dungeons and Dragons, and I know. But I know it's not like extremely important for gameplay-wise, I'm guessing. But let's just see what kind of resonates with me. Uh, you have spent your life service to a temple. Nah. This is what I chose last time. Full hero, you are a champion of the common people, challenging tyrants and monsters to protect the helpless. Saving innocence in imminent danger will make your legend grow. Skills, animal handling, and survival. Oh, you know what? Let me actually look at the skills that go along with it, because I might just choose a skill that coincides with charisma, since we're going to be charismatic as fuck. Uh, deception. We do like that. Let me just look at first what is charisma, and then we'll go from there. Well, entertainer, hello. Performance. I mean, we're a bard, right? This is like the super bard build right here. Yeah, we have... I'm going for a bard. I want the full bard experience. And this is something very new to me. I've never played bard in any video game before. I've always been drawn to magic. Um... So this is going to be a new experience, and I want to experience it fully. Okay, so now ability points. That's right. By the river. Um, it look everything looks pretty good to me. De dexterity, I know, is good for doing ranged weapons. I know that from previous games I've played before, and charisma. So this looks this looks pretty good to me. All right, so now this is where the juicy stuff begins. Uh, we get to do all of this. All right, I have always really enjoyed elves. I'm gonna try to condense this. I won't make this a million years long because when I when the game very first came out, I actually streamed this and it took me two hours to create my character because the character customization is top tier. I think this is the most in-depth character customization in any video game I've ever experienced. We're going to have her be clean. No scars. Let's see what the voices are. What's your next? Hmm. Let's hope the low. Hells. Something just woke up down here. Be wary. It's opened. Hmm. More of those wretched. There's magic keeping this chest sealed. That one's not bad. What's your next? What was that? I kind of like that. It's not bad. Down, down, down by the river. I do like this dusk, dark skin tone. I don't know if that's uh, like a skin tone that's specifically for dro, drow, dro. Am I saying it right? Ooh, ooh. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna hear a lot of, a lot of ooh ah, from me. Just as a heads up. Can you blame me? Look how detailed this character customization is okay that is what this is what we started with or this one i do really like this pink purpley purpley oh you can also just oh we can straight up be pink but see i would do more of the skin tone if i went back to my tiefling build down, down, down by the river. Okay, I think we're going to go with this one. I was drawn to this, and I really like it. Okay, body art. I, As beautiful as she is clean, I do enjoy myself some body art. And I've always really, really loved any type of, like, old folklore, medieval, like, type of look, if that makes sense. 
I almost just want to shut up so you guys can listen to the music too because it's so good. It's so pretty. I need to add this to my Spotify playlist. I have like a nerd playlist is what I call it. It's all the music that I've enjoyed from video games or movies. And if you guys are interested in that, I, I have a public Spotify playlist that you guys can follow and tune into as well. Ooh. Okay, but the neck tattoo is sexy. That one's bold and fierce. I love that. Uh, let's see. I really do like this. This reminds me, oh, this is definitely like Maori type of moko. Um, simple. <laughs> okay, sorry, I said I wasn't gonna take a million years and I am. Hmm. I really like this. Okay, we're just gonna do that. But let's make it softer so that it kind of, ooh, so that it blends in. <gasps> ooh. Oh, I, <laughs> I warned you. I warned you the sounds that were gonna come out of my mouth. That's actually pretty soft as well. Or this gray. That gray is actually really nice. Okay, let's do this one. All right, let's go to the eyes. She has white eyes, which I really like. But we are going to play around just a little bit. I was also thinking too, and this is just crazy. I wasn't, I didn't even remember it until I just was speaking, but... If we have enough fun with our Baldur's Gate playthrough, I would like to cosplay my character. And I just so happen to have elf ears. I happen to have makeup to match the skin tone. So let, let me know down in the comments if you guys would like to see a cosplay of my Baldur's Gate character. Because I think that would be really fun. The only challenging part, if anything, would maybe be the hair. Because I have a lot of hair. Um, like three feet or more of hair. I need to actually get a measuring stick out and measure it, just for fun. It would be more like a tape measure and not even a stick, it wouldn't be enough. Uh, but yeah, I definitely see that in our future to cosplay her. Okay, let's see, white eyes, I'm getting distracted. Black is actually really pretty, but I do like the cold white eyes makeup. Let's do something that just kind of complements already the tattoos. I almost think the makeup she already had complemented it pretty well, which was this one. Oh, I love it. Ooh. The river. That one's really pretty as well. The river. All right, quit taking a million years. <laughs> hmm. What if we change the color to match the tattoos? Ooh, that one's like a dark purple. I do think that. Oh, makeup intensity. Metallic, glossy, ooh. Glossy, like attention to detail even on the makeup. So matte or glossy, like look how cool that is. It's so realistic as a person who wears makeup. Um, let's go to hair, I do like that. That's really pretty. Let's scroll out a little bit. I really like this hair, so I, I wanna find it so that I can remember where it is. It's on the right side. I The only critique I have on any of this character customization right now is that there's no long hair. I mean, my length hair long. 
like down to the bottom of their back or at least past the shoulders. And I know that, okay, wait, longer. <laughs> I know that's not easy to do um, in a video game. So I respect that, but I just wish, you know, like if I were to ask for something, I just wish that there'd be hair down to the middle of the back or longer so that I could really have something that like, I think is me, you know? That's all I really wish. Okay. I did really like that first haircut that we saw though. Oh, no, we're getting to the wrong side of stuff. These dreads are pretty. I like something too, where you can see the ears and I know the ears are poking out, but I really like seeing the elf ears. That's probably the closest to like my length of hair, but I don't like that one particularly. That one's really cute too, but let's see. I'm probably just going to keep it where it was. It was on the right side. This one, it's really pretty. Yeah, we are going to, hold on. <laughs> mm. See if anything else speaks to me. Gotta check the angles. Oh, excuse me? I spoke too soon. That's some long hair. That is some, that is the longest I've seen. I mean, I guess I never noticed that before. Although it's in braids, you know, it's not just flowing, but hey, I take back what I said. I take it back. There is long hair. <laughs> You can see the ears, the space buns are kind of cute. Okay, maybe we'll rock this. If I'm gonna cosplay that, it won't be easy, but I could still do that hair. I could still do it. The makeup will be hard, but I can do it. All right, it's set on brown number two. Let's see what other things look like for highlights. I don't even think I got into the part where you can customize every piece of the, their face. Is that a thing? I forgot, like the lip size, the ear location, the, the eye placement, the width. I forgot if that's a thing. I wanna choose something. I'm trying to just kind of complement her features instead of making them you know, not what they are, if that makes any sense. Light pink, any type of pink, no. What was it on before I should have looked? I think it was on that one. The gray with the purple is kind of cool. Graying and neutral. Oh, that just changes everything. Nope. Oh, it was the hair color. Highlights. Highlight intensity. Oh, I forgot about the intensity. Down, down, down by the river. Mm hmm. One thousand years later. I mean, the brown is pretty. It, it is and it isn't. By the river. We could just give her all white hair as well, you know? You're gonna hate me. Now I'm going back and I'm wanting this hair. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was just the space buns that wasn't doing it for me. Something wasn't doing it. By the river.
Da, da. Huh. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Just kind of compliments her. I think I like that. Or even just the all white. I think we're just going to go for this all white look. I saw there was something for body type. Let's just look at that one more time. Oh, I see. Tall female, tall male. I like this size. I like this right here. Amethyst tone. That's really pretty. Oh, wow. I missed all of this here. Maturity. Aged or youthful. Freckles. I do really like her freckles. And adding more just puts a little bit on the nose. I like that. Freckle intensity. Keep it still kind of subtle. Oh, that's really cool. Oh my god. I don't know why, but that just made her seem so much prettier to me. And it's on... Oh, it's on her whole body. Oh, that's so pretty. But I will just leave her like this. Oh, yeah. Um, I need to make sure that I don't have full nudity on this thing. We're not even going there. We're not even... You, you can't see it. My camera's blocking it. You might know what's there. We're not going there. <laughs> Edit character goes back to skills. Ability. Yeah, we're good. Edit appearance. This is her. Okay, so now the big... Next order of business is naming her. Oh, what is our character going to be named? I honestly, it's been so long since I played my tiefling character that I forgot what I named her. It was something with a Z. And I, I don't want to goof this either. So, oh, I, you know what? I remember who I, my character's name. She was a sorcerer. Her name was Zalara. And I really liked that. But I think... I think I need to do something different since she's a bard. She's a totally different character. She's a different person. What should we name it? Hmm. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I almost need to look at ideas. Okay, that was my initial thought right there was Lady Lorien. If I'm a huge Lord of the Rings nerd and I somehow incorporate it in everything I do because I just love Lord of the Rings that much. And Lorien, if I remember correctly, is light, which is why Galadriel is the Lady of Lothlorien. I'm going to actually look this up really quick. Hold on. Oh, Lorien. Oh, I'm so silly. Lorien means Blossom of the Dreamland. Blossom of the Dreamland, or as Treebeard simplified it, Dream Flower. Oh my God. I love it even more. I don't know why I thought Lorien meant light. Loth Lorien. Yeah, I know that's where Galadriel dwelt, but Lady Lorien. What about Lorien? Dreamflower, Lorian. That is pretty. Okay, wow. Lorian means dreamflower. Hold, I, I'm sold. Lorian. Amazing. Okay, this is her. Oh, I forgot about. I forgot about the guardian. Oh, this is gonna be fun. So I can make the guardian, basically for whatever reason I want to. I forgot the purpose of the guardian. I do know, however, that they will pop up eventually, like in the story at some point. I just don't think I've gotten far enough. Elf, half elf. So we can make a a big baddie daddy or we can have 
a pretty mommy. And I don't actually know. I feel like I want to do another female, but decking out a dude would be kind of cool too. Oh, I am leaning towards the tiefling just because, like I said, I like them so much. Both for their like lore and history. She's really pretty right off the bat. I almost like her. Subrace. Asmodeus. I'm reading things that I, I think are covered by my camera at the moment. Excuse me. Bound to Nessus, the deepest layer of the hells. These tieflings inherited the ability to wield fire and darkness from the arch devil Asmodeus. Infernal's blood, infernal bloodline. Oh, yeah, and they look different. Nope, I like the red. <laughs> Female. Okay, we can choose their identity. That's cool. I like her right off the bat, but let's just see. I think I'm going to make her... Can I make her tall? I want to make her tall. If she's my guardian, she's going to be big. And strong. Fierce. Let's... Her tone is the red. We could darken her. Yeah, this is where we get some of those pink tones. Red tone number five. I do really like just that deep red. You could also make her purpley. Pink, which is what I initially had gone for. I do like this red. I do also, I want to say, I really like the Dragonborn. Which doesn't give you an option here. Like, I'm just drawn to the dragonborn look. I've always loved dragons. I'm Year of the Dragon myself. And I just love how they're just these mythical, mystical fantasy creatures. I've always been drawn to dragons. But I'm surprised I can't choose one here for some reason. Let's hear the voice. Good luck. Follow your instincts. Remarkable. Follow your instincts. Well, Don't that's be afraid. That's her. So is our guardian going to be kind of like, yeah. And she's a tiefling. She's going to have some scars for sure. She's seen a lot. We can even have her be a little bit aged. Nah, freckles. Now nah, we're going to leave all this. Body art. Oh, she going to be tatted up right now. Let me see. Even if it's just the neck one, I really like that neck one. <laughs> Yeah, I want her to be, I want her to be a fierce guardian. I do love the dark face paint and the eyes because it makes the, the eyes just kind of pop way more. Ooh, but the neck tattoo. Oh, and the flame. Okay, tiefling. You hotter than hail, girl. Hmm. I like this tattoo, but it does not serve her. She's not serving with it. Yeah. Yeah. This one is a dark neck tattoo. With the flame. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Let's see. Black. It had it set on this blue, which actually complements her skin kind of well. Or this dark gray. Gray. Gray blue. Yeah, that blue is actually complementing the red really well. I think I'm going to tone it down just slightly with the gray blue. And we are for sure going to give her some eye makeup. Demonic red. Number two is what it's on. Which is really nice. Oh. Hex, no, we're not doing some human eyes. She's, she's a tiefling. We're going to give her some demon eyes. Ooh, the green? <gasps> wow. That... That is insane. Ooh. Hold up, though. Look at that purple. Wait, it was this one? It's like purple with a green iris. Like, what? No, I don't like the regular looking eyes. <laughs> what about everything? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I like it. Ooh. That might be the winner. Oh, I forgot about these. Flame pink. 
That complements your skin tone really well. Flame. Oh, so you know what? This flame is probably for the Dragonborn Obsidian. Yucky, regular eyes, yucky. <laughs> I really like this white eyes or the orange or the red. Ooh, the dark red. Oh, that might actually be the winner. Flame red three. That's so dark. Yes. Yeah, this is her. I like that one. All right, let's get her makeup down. We, I'm definitely going to put darkness around her eyes just to make her spooky eyes stand out even more. It's probably between that one and this one. Ooh. <gasps> Actually, yes. That just adds like a different emotion almost. Yeah. My makeup was black, lip tint. Her lips look really, I'm not gonna change anything like that. I don't wanna start goofing around. And then her hair. Simple long ponytail. Let's see where that's, it's also on the right. Let's just kind of look around a little bit. Down, down, down by the river. Hmm. Because of the horns and the attention to all her face, I almost really like her hair tied back. Because I feel like anything in her face is going to take away from everything she got going on, you know? Although that one's not bad. Ooh. Oh. With the braid? Okay, wait. That one might be a winner. I like being able to see the ears, like I said earlier as well. Down, down, down by the river. That's what she started with, totally clean. And then we also have the braid. I like the braid. Winner. And I do honestly like the hair. Unless, okay, wait. Red, number three. What about black? Hmm. Brown, red, number three. Huh, that's not bad either. Brown, red, number one. Brown, auburn. Ooh, the white. Ooh, the white hair, though. I like that. Uh-huh. I think, I think this is perfect. She has the most subtle... It's, like, very similar to the hair I created. Facial hair. Horns. All right. Last bit of customization here. We are starting off with the Malborg Spires. Which I do really like. I don't like these curved ones as much. That's just what I'm not drawn to. I feel like on my last tiefling character that I made actually my person, I did do these spiral ones. I like the spirals. Those are short. Not bad. I like these because they give like a Maleficent vibe almost. And these are just so classic. That's like Maleficent too, actually. Skewers. <laughs> okay, wait. Let's look from afar. That's actually too spirally. That's not bad. Or these ones. I think I like these. Yeah, those are pretty dope. You can change the color of the horns. I think it matches perfectly with the hair that we are choosing. Okay, so I think if I click Venture Forth, it saves and it might actually spit us out into the game. Which, if it does, I'm going to pause it right there. Because all I wanted to do was kind of take my time and uh, show you guys the new characters that I am creating for my very first playthrough. Oh, yep. Well, you know what? We're just going to watch it.
Now this is the mind flare. Such a badass entrance to the game. You can't, you can't admit that. You can't not admit it. Ugh, I love it. Yeah, you're fucked. Respectfully, of course. <laughs> bye bye Ooh. Snatch, snatch, snatched. Snatching them up left and right. Ooh! These dragons are so cool! So... To my understanding, there's these dragons, but they're not dragonborn. Dragonborn is like a race descended from the dragons, but they are quite different. Ooh! Dude, that other dragon ripped off a whole tentacle. Oh. That got me. You awake now. I think they're trying to save her because the, there were other Gith Yankees on those dragons, but. Those things, I don't even know. So cool. I can't say it enough. So cool. Okay. So that's our intro to the game. It is now going to let us loose into the world. And that is unfortunately where I'm going to stop this video because, like I said, I was creating a character for my Twitch playthrough that I'm going to be starting on stream. Um, as soon as it pops us out, I'm going to back us out. Just kidding. We have a little bit more to watch. But that's us. We got scooped up. That's Lorian. Wakey, wakey. Oh, she's so pretty. We did it! Autosave successful! My head. All right, you guys. So like I said, I'm saving this for my Twitch playthrough. If you'd like to join me on this adventure, please go check out my channel. I ha will have it linked down below. And um, if you guys are interested in seeing me create any other characters or do any other types of playthrough, let me know. And also just let me know how you think I did with 
creating my character um, and what you think of Baldur's Gate. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.